Hmm, wonder what's uh, going on. Let's have a look. <laughs> eh? Holy shit! Hey guys, and welcome back to Back Beyond Tech. So it looks like AMD just keep knocking them out of the park. Um, so leading on from the leaked ashes of the Singularity benchmark last week, they've uh, done their own benchmarking uh, with Blender and they've benchmarked, here we go, they've benchmarked the same chip which we know was an 8 core 16 thread beast that was uh, clocked at 2.8 gigahertz and got that 58 frames per second in ashes of Singularity. So they've run the benchmark against the uh, Haswell E i7 6900K and the Zen chip edged it out, and I mean edged it out by a hair. They pretty much finished the, the rendering, <coughs> the benchmark, sorry, in Blender at the same time. But exciting stuff, um, really exciting stuff. Um, Zen seems to be real. Um, there's no two ways about it. The, the benchmark from Ashes of Singularity was very impressive considering the low base clock of the unit and it was only boost clocking at 3.2 gigahertz and now we've got this um, which again seems to seems to indicate that AMD Zen is real, it's here, it's coming. Um, so here we go, so these, these are the two chips so you know 8 cores, 16 threads and the 2D variant in the Ashes of Singularity Pardon me, bench core was a four core, eight threaded variant. Now, what is impressive is this, the power, 95 watts for that eight core, 16 thread chip. That is unbelievable. When you look at the chip um, that is being benchmarked again, against, sorry, in Blender, the i7-6900K, which has a TDP of 130 watts. And it's, it's 30 watts more than this chip, than this Zen chip, um, and they're putting out the same performance. That is epic. Um, I mean, AMD, for all their faults in the past, they have totally, and I mean totally, delivered with Zen. Um, they promised a 40% IPC <laughs> performance in improvement over, over Bulldozer, and if you actually look at the ashes of the singularity, um, benchmark numbers and if you were to scale that 8 core 16 thread chip to 4 gigahertz the same clock speed that the FX 8350 was running at it would be 98 percent faster now whether or not that scales is another thing but it, theoretically it is giving you double the performance which is way more than anyone expected and, and and way more than AMD promised which is amazing it's it, it's it's very very exciting I'm quite excited I just found out about this benchmark today thanks to one of my viewers who dropped in a link in the other video I did about the le leaked ashes of the singularity benchmark or else I probably wouldn't find out about this so I had to get on it straight away and tell you guys about it and um, it's on a few sites now so I'll put in a load of links to various articles. I'm currently looking at WCCF Tech, but um, <clears throat> GameStop's also got it. Um, but we'll go back. The WCCF Tech is a slightly better article. Well, it's a much better article, actually. It's, it's it's way more in depth. Like I say, I'll link it below. So this is where they're talking about the performance uplift over the FX8350 that I talked about a moment ago. Um, yeah, so it's way way faster than 40%. You know, it, it, like I say, if you scale it to the FX8350 clock speed, it's more like 98% faster. Um, there's that leak benchmark again, which seems to be be real, um, you, you know, that's amazing. So this would be the 8 core 16 thread variant, uh, basically, which is, uh, so I'm just so excited, I can't, sorry guys, I'm just really, uh, really happy. Um, now what's really impressive about this is not that um, not that it's beating out Intel. I never expected Zen to beat out Intel, but what is really impressive is that it is not only competing 
with what you would call the gamer enthusiast level, so you, you know your i5 variants and your four core i7s, but it's actually competing with things like Haswell E, you know the extreme edition chips, which is unbelievable. I didn't expect that. I mean, down here they talk about it. Uh, da -da -da, yeah, Zen would outperform the FX8350 by 98% if it's scalable and if it clocks to four gigahertz, and it would put it on core, like on par with the 6900K, which is an a thousand a thousand dollar chip. You know, it's a thousand dollars, and given AMD's historical pricing, they're always going to undercut Intel. I think they'd be stupid to change that. I also hope they don't start doing the Intel tax and charging for unlocked versus locked chips. I think that would be a huge mistake for them. Um, but time will tell on that. I can't see them doing it. They've never done it before. Hopefully they'll stick to their guns. So, I mean, that's unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable that this 8-core, 16-threaded chip is performing at the same level as the i7-6900K, which is $1,000. It's using less power. It's got a 95-watt uh, watt TDP versus 130 watts. Um, I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's, it does seem too good to be true. Um, you know, and I know AMD have made a lot of improvements, um, but it does seem too good to be true, but it all does seem very real, guys. It seems like AMD could be great again, which I really hope they are. And I'm not an AMD fanboy, but what I want is a competitor. You know, I've always said that. I want a competitor. I don't like living in a world where the only real choice if you want to have a machine that both games and for me can do heavily multi-threaded tasks like rendering and things like that that you, you either have to go and do what I've done which is have my AMD machine which I'm using to game with which is fine and then build a separate rendering machine which I'm quite happy with you know that was bang for buck it's a brilliant machine but at the moment if you want an all-in-one solution you have to go with Intel that's, there's no two ways about it. There's no competition. They have no competition from AMD, realistically. Like, their APUs are good, but I mean, they're not... I wouldn't... You wouldn't buy one. Do you know what I mean? To If you're going to be a hardcore gamer and also be looking at... Also be looking at actual real workload tasks, you're just not going to get there with an APU. Whereas Zen seems to be the real deal and I mean I mean I'll just scroll down to the um, through the article and they talk about the 14 nanometer finfet which seems to have brought them a real tangible boost in performance then they start talking about the different variants um, and the the roadmap and again we're going down here and again desktop CPUs they're just talking about um, scaling across different markets which I think you know, they could be looking at stealing a fair bit of market share back from in Intel if everything goes well. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I think this is real. I think it could be very good. Uh, I think so far, AMD have got their marketing just right. And like I say, it looks like Zen's real, guys. It looks like Zen can compete. And that's all they have to do. You know, they don't have to beat Intel. But what I'm, I would love to be in this situation, early 2017, you know, I'm going to be upgrading my gaming rig or building a new PC, I really want to build a new PC, and to be able to have that choice where I can say I need a machine that has really good single threaded performance, but can also do workload orientated tasks, heavily multi-threaded tasks, I, you know, and I use Premiere Pro, I use After Effects, I use a lot of these things that need that will load all your cores at once. Um, and at the moment, like I say, Intel is the only option. And it's got a better platform. You know, it, it, it really does have a better platform in terms of usability, you know, in terms of things like DDR4 support, um, PCIe 3, which is ridiculous that AMD haven't supported that yet. Whereas we could be in this situation where not only are AMD bringing a new product to the market, but that new product uses less power than the equivalent Intel chip, which is good. It's easier to kill, which will probably give you more headroom for overclocking that chip. Um, so not only can it do that, it can keep up in games, 
hopefully. We've only seen Ashes as a singularity, but I would say it's probably going to scale across other games, and it has impressive multi-threaded performance, as you can see from this Blender test. And the, the Blender benchmark is heavily multi-threaded. I mean, really heavily multi-threaded. Plus, the platform they're going to with AM4 will support DDR4, which I want, <laughs> you know, will support PCIe 3, which I want, will support M.2, which I want, and which most people want. So they could be bringing an amazing product to the market. And let's just hope they don't do what they did with the RX 480. And there was a lot of controversy about that, in, you know, about the PCIe 3. <clears throat> Pardon me about the card pulling more power than is than it's um, regulated for from that slot from that PCIe 3 slot. In fact, the <coughs> the actual AMD reference cards have, have had that removed from them, so they're no longer PCIe 3 compliant. Um, and do I think it's a big deal? No, I don't. I think it's a big deal if you're on an older motherboard, but from a marketing point of view, it's not done them any favors. So if they can keep ahead of the hype and they can see these kinds of problems coming, I think they won't have a hard problem marketing this product. I think everyone, even people who are running Intel platforms, want competition. If nothing else, it might actually make Intel look at their mid-range, you know, that kind of i5 level for gamers where for generations, all you've got is four cores. That's it. It's all a gamer needs is four cores, no multi-threading, and that's it. And then when you move up to the next level, sort of i7s and the upper end chips, you know, you're paying such a premium to get them. You think, well, what's the point? If all you want to do is game, what's the point? So Intel, uh, so Intel might have to react to this if Zen uh, is what I think it's going to be. So anyway, guys, that's my thoughts. I'm a bit excited about this. I'm sorry if it wasn't coherent video but uh, like I said I had to jump on this today I saw it uh, I'm very excited about it um, so that's really it guys so like this video if you liked it dislike it if you dislike it if you dislike it leave a comment I'm always um, always want to hear what you guys have got to say um, don't forget to mash that subscribe button to be in with a chance to win one of two free games and we're going to be drawing that on the 28th of August um, and all you got to do is subscribe to be in with a chance of winning guys so Bye now, and I'll catch you later in another tech video.